better pressure. Yeah. <laughs> There's a sign up. That's cool. That's definitely new. So there is, hey Betsy, there is the 1796 night house, it's the oldest uh, frame house, it's of Goff's Corner, Lewis and Falls, and Auburn Village Corp, now the civic center of the city of Auburn, incorporated in 1869, so basically it's the oldest standing house, and they call it Lewis and Falls, but it's now Lewis and there's the bridge, so Lewis is on that side, we're in Auburn, they call it the Twin Cities in Maine where they have the fireworks go off every year and they have the, all the parades and functions and all that stuff, they block the bridge off but here's the falls, that's Indian Rock over there supposedly that some natives put a curse that one white man a year will die on this river this is the Inner River starts way up I think by Jay Main and it comes out into the ocean, goes to Lisbon and Brunswick and Durham but uh, they open the house once a year here do tours I've been inside a long time ago but, uh, yeah, it was a long time ago. Let's see what they got. It's like an old bed or something. Never know, do you try? What's that, that marker? I haven't seen that yet. I'll take a picture. Six times with 12 different owners. No shit. Yeah. Name for the Knight family, the building's longest occupants, the Knight House, stands at the oldest frame house in downtown Auburn. It's a typical example of houses built in the late 1700s. Nathaniel Knight was the butcher and meat dealer. Caleb Lincoln, the Revolutionary War veteran, built this house in 1796, when Maine was still Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Originally located about a mile from its current location on Cross Street, near North River Road, Night House has been moved, yeah, six times and had 12 different owners. The house is furnished with typical late 19th century decor. The shoe shop beside the house, constructed in the 1790s, contains tools and equipment used for early shoemaking. Can you get into the, see in the windows? Yeah, there's a bed in that one. I've been in it for a long time ago, but here's the Downing Shoe Shop built 1790. Moved from Perkins Ridge Road in 1981, so that's pretty neat. This is all free. This is just stuff you can just walk around. Like I said, during the day, during the summer, they'll actually have the tours and shit. You can go in. Back windows aren't open. <coughs> it's funny, like, we're trying to go to McDonald's live in Freeport because of the old house and everything, and people are just staring at us like we got three fucking heads. Like, no one has an idea while we're recording. It's so funny to watch regular people. Like, they have no clue. Like, there's people walking by, like, why the fuck are they recording this house? Because it's historic and possibly haunted, just keep walking. But, um, funny story about the McDonald's thing. We went in and we grabbed a, a dollar drink each. And, uh, of course, Heather, my girl, had to say, Hey, uh, this place was built in 1850, huh? Any, any hauntings? Anything weird? And the girl working goes, Oh, no, really? What do you mean? She goes, Well, what do you mean? She goes, That ice machine over there moves on its own at night, and ice falls on its own and makes noises. We go, No way. So she's like, yeah. So she told us a little bit about the upstairs. and This was on the McDonald's stairs. I think it was to clean off your shoes or something. But she said we can go back up to the manager and possibly, you know, check it out. Is he upstairs? We did some research and uh, the dude's sons that lived there died in the house, so. Uh, yeah, could be a haunted McDonald's. Oh, you can see the fireplace here in this one. Through my phone more than anything. I guess you can look in it, but. I'm too short. I'm not going to watch the video. I'll see you in the video. <laughs> Take a quick walk up the falls. We got a little bit of time to kill, right? Before our Thai food is ready. Over here. That goes to nowhere. Well, it goes to the bridge down to... But this is where you want to go. You can go to the fall part. Waterfall part. This is... West Pitch Park. Founded in 1989 by the Central Maine Power Company. The owners of this place. Look at this, someone drew a ghosty. Oh, hi Mr. Oh, ghosty. He's got, a, he's got a king crown. A 
find a hobby. It's making sure it's ghosty. I know, it's, like I said, this is native land. Maine is, is a lot. Hey, the ghost is in the back of it now. And he's again on this side. Wow, he's one. He gets around. That's cute. This so I must be, yeah. Be careful. Like I said, I've been coming to these woods a while. There's definitely a lot of, uh, you know, not that it's a bad thing, because I'm pretty much like that. But it's like homeless people here and different shit. So, well, we're careful. We're good. During the day, you get a better chance. It's not like it's New York, you know what I mean? Hey, the ghost again. <laughs> It's tagged up. Betsy, yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, see, so, yeah, they are boot cleaners or horse poop. Oh, nice, thanks. That's what I thought. Thanks, Betsy. She's laughing at you. <laughs> hey, Megan. <laughs> yeah, you put things up there and you scrape off. That's a cool trail. Scrape off your shit kickers. So, we drove to Auburn for Saco. 90% of you aren't from Maine, don't know what that means. It's like an hour drive. It's just Thai food place we really like. <laughs> and on the way here, we went by, gotta be 12 cemeteries, right? Oh, couple, yeah. Couple of meeting houses. So on the way back, we're gonna take our time, probably go check a couple out. We went by the Bagley House, also known as the Royalsboro Inn, which is now known as the Bliss House. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of shit went down there. Yeah, opening up as a B and B. They got four rooms. Very quiet, modest house, but the uh, the original uh, second owner of the Blisses, Miss Bliss, the wife, had a heart attack and died and fainted on the uh, on the, yeah in there. There's people making out. Here we go. Bunch of Ramos people making out. <laughs> That's why I go at night because most of you humans are sleeping. Yeah. You get the whole fucking earth to yourself I after like you live in the spirits with you. Yeah, they're doing drugs and they're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <sighs> there's, a, there's a museum of the street sign down there, too. Must be for the waterfalls. I'll have to grab that next time. But. Leave it to a living, breathing human to ruin an experience with the dead. No, it's all good, whatever. It's a park, you gotta share it. They literally were like making them, they had arms all around each other. Young kids, though, I get it. Gotta be young again. Yeah. Alright, well, that was still a cool experience. Seeing the oldest house in one of the towns you grew up in, and gotta check that out. Now that there's a museum in the streets, I'm gonna take a picture and start a Auburn Museum in the streets. Phone category, uh, Facebook. Facebook. Thanks, Megan. I appreciate it. What's up, Linda? Megan appreciates that we always share our knowledge. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. It's, uh, like I said, people like to go out and do things, and I just gotta stop. If something looks old, if there's a cemetery, or something that's like one of a kind, I'm stopping. Especially when it's free. You can... We like free. Yeah, so that's cool. We hit up, uh, one of the world's only McDonald's that's in a regular home. Used to be a sea captain's home. He haunts it, and hopefully there'll be an investigation. We can get back to the manager. That'd be kind of neat. Past like ten cemeteries, a couple from 1833, I think. A couple of meeting houses. Went by Stephen King's home, where he was born and raised in Durham. Beautiful river. In a Scoggin. And now we're at the oldest house in uh, in Auburn, Lewiston, with the old shoe shop. So we're not in it. I mean, like I said, I have been in it, but. Something to at least check out and touch the shingles and take a selfie, why not? People that have never been here get to know about it. And maybe one of you guys will like it and research it yourself and make it a bucket list thing. But uh, yeah, there it is. The Night House, 1796. People in California are like, we got stuff 1820s. I go, well. Yeah, this is before Maine was Maine. Call me when it's been 1700s or older. Good stuff. Real shit. Real shingles, you know. Real, real Eve. Real handle. Real alarm system that's going to go off in a minute. <laughs> but, all right. I think some pictures. Thanks for watching, guys. Get out there and do something. Enjoy your time. Aaron, what's up, buddy? Have a good day, guys. Support your local graveyard. Support your local cemetery. Support me. Love you. Have a good day.